Welcome back to the Biology Man channel. If you love watching my videos, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Today we'll talk about this briefing curve, which shows the pressure changes in lungs during inhalation and exhalation. Before watching this video, you had better get yourself familiar with the briefing mechanism first. About this curve, there are two types of DSE question. First, the question will ask you to identify the time period for inhalation or exhalation. Second, you need to point out the state of the breathing muscles. Let's first take a look at the first focus. The y-axis is the pressures in lungs in MMHG. MMHG is a unit of pressure. The x-axis is the time. When we breathe, the lung's pressures will change according to the volume change of the thoracic cavity. In order to identify the period inhalation or exhalation, you must understand two things. First, the atmospheric pressure is 760 mmHg. Second, air flows from high pressure region to low pressure region. In the period of PQR, the curve is about 760 mmHg. That means the lung's pressure is higher than the atmospheric pressure. So the air flows out from the lungs to the atmosphere. Exhalation occurs. In the period RST, the curve is below 760 mmHg. That means the lung's pressure is lower than the atmospheric pressure. So the air flows in the lungs from the atmosphere. Inhalations occur. If you still find it difficult, you can just draw an arrow between the curve and the 760 mmHg. The head of the arrow always points down. Some questions will ask for the states of breathing muscles in a period. The breathing muscles are the intercostal muscles and the diaphragm muscles. There are only two states of muscle, contracts or relax. After you identified which period is inhalation or exhalation, it will be very easy for you to answer this question. Breathing muscle contract during inhalation and relax during exhalation. The DSE questions may also ask you to define the moment which the lungs have the largest volume. In order to have a better understanding, you need to take a breath now. You notice that the lungs reach the largest volume at the end of the inhalation before the exhalation starts. At T, point T should be the moment, and after T, exhalation occurs. You may also need to know how to calculate the breathing rate. Breathing rate is the number of breaths per minute. You need to identify one breath, then see how much time it takes. In this curve, PT is one breath. If PT takes 3 seconds, the breathing rate will be 20 breaths per minute. After watching this video, hope you know how to deal with this curve in the exam. Don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. See you!